Hey everyone, we're gonna go through a double beat exercise in this video. This is gonna be a triplet 4-2-1 grid. It's not gonna be a perfect 4-2-1 because we're gonna play the entire four section on one hand and then repeat it on the next hand. And then the two and one section will bounce back and forth. Um, so let's just drum through it and then we'll talk about it. So this is at 110, here we go. Okay, so the first thing to talk about here is the rhythms. This is as much a triplet partial rhythm exercise as it is a physical double beat exercise just to practice getting in the two strokes. So make sure you're counting triplets, one anda, two anda, three anda, four anda, or foot anda, foot anda, foot anda, foot anda. So the first pattern, we've got one and, two and, one and, two and, three and, four and, with the foot, foot and, foot and, foot and, foot and. Next, we've got one, a two. So one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a foot, a foot, a foot. And lastly, we've got uh, a rest on the downbeat and we're playing on the rest and uh, and uh, and uh. This is the trickiest pattern rhythmically because we're not playing anything on the downbeat. So make sure you're emphasizing foot here. So I'll count it first with the numbers and then with the foot. So we're gonna have one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a but I would mostly think about this as foot and a foot and a foot and a foot and a. It's really gonna help. So now onto the physical aspect of this exercise. As with any double beat exercise, if you can play consecutive legato strokes at the same speed as your double strokes with the rests in between, then you're gonna be better off. And what I mean by that is this is at 110. So if you were to practice your eighth note triplets consecutively, then playing double beat at this speed, just taking out every third note, uh, is going to be a lot more even. So if you can uh, ensure that your each note is gonna be exactly the same, and then just take out every third note, your double strokes are gonna sound the way that they should. So as far as the formatting of this exercise, this isn't a straight 4-2-1 uh, because we're trying to get the practice in on both hands. So for instance, in the four section, we play one pattern and then repeat it. Then we play the next pattern and repeat it, and then we play the third pattern and repeat it. Uh, that's how I would probably normally practice that. You could play the entire four section on one hand. So one, two, three, four, next pattern, next. And then maybe repeat that on your left hand. Um, I just prefer to switch hands after I switch patterns. And similarly, in the one section, I would definitely play all three patterns per hand before I changed. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And you could play that normally in a four, two, one, we would play the one section four times. Since we're splitting it up, you can play that the full eight times. That may seem a little bit too repetitive, um, but that's, that's how I would practice that. I would do the full uh, one section on one hand, and then I would trade back and forth and do the full eight times. Another really good variation you could do on this, aside from changing the heights or the speed, would be to change the sticking. And I would practice this um, in natural sticking. So one, two, three, four. All right, let me know if there's anything in particular you guys would like me to go over. If you have any questions in general about drumline or auditioning or technique, feel free to shoot me an email. And if you wanna hop over to the website, timwoodtheory.com, I'll have all these exercises organized into categories. So if you really just wanna hit a double beat or a rolls exercise, something like that, they will be in their separate sections. And I'll have PDFs to these soon. I'll upload them as, as quickly as I can. All right, hope that helps. Have fun, good luck. See you next time.